What's up, YouTube? It's me, Kenneth, with What's New Barbecue. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's beautiful out here in Texas, and I'm going to be rolling some of my favorite things on the old Copper Weber kettle, some Dino Beef Ribs from Six Brothers Beef Company. If you haven't checked them out yet, their information will be down below in the description box. Make sure you like and subscribe and leave me a comment. Let's go ahead and get to these beef ribs. So here we have our Black Angus Dino Beef Ribs from Six Brothers Beef. I roughly trimmed off the fat on the top of them and we left the membrane on because these are beef ribs so they're heavy and when they're cooking you don't want them to break apart on you so that's going to hold it together. We're going to season these up with the all purpose rub from North Texas Barbecue Addicts. It's called Smoke Shake. I'll have the information for that down below in the description box. It's got some nice salty peppery garlic flavors and it's also got a little bit of sweetness to it and a little bit of heat so I think this will go great on these beef ribs. It's been a little bit since I've uh, done some North Texas Barbecue Attic all purpose smoke shake beef ribs so this will be good. But this is what we're looking like after roughly trimming them up, seasoning them up and we've got Old Copper, the Weber kettle getting fired up right now. Around 250 degrees is what we're shooting for. We're going to get these edges covered with some seasoning and then we'll throw them on the grill. So we've got old Copper Weber kettle up to about 250 degrees on the offset side and you can see we've got a snake method over here with some hickory chips. Let's get this other rack of ribs on here real quick. There we go. Scoop that one over a little bit. That's what we're looking like. Like I said, we're rolling around 250 to 265 degrees on old copper. That NTBA rub's looking awesome. These beef ribs are gonna be great. Y'all stick around and I'll check back with y'all. We'll say we'll check on this in an hour and a half. So like I said, we'll check on these in an hour and a half. We are an hour and a half in. Let's see what they're looking like. They're coming along nicely. You can see they're taking a nice smoke color on. That NTBA seasoning is looking perfect still. Nice texture. We've been rolling around 250 degrees to 300 degrees this entire time. I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. And let it keep on cooking. Old Copper's doing perfect. So I'll check on this in maybe another hour or so. And we'll see where we're at. We're about 30 minutes away from checking the internal temperature. As you can see, we've got some puddling happening from that fat rendering down and now's the time to add a little bit more of our North Texas barbecue addict all-purpose smoke shake if you're not reapplying your seasoning on these long slow low cooks you're missing out go ahead and throw some extra flavor on there just like that that's what we're looking like next time I see y'all we're gonna see what the internal temperature is and go from there look at that color there man So we're still rolling around 250, 300. Let's see what we're looking like. Man, look at that color. That's looking beautiful. You can see the fat starting to render down. We haven't spritzed these yet. We did an internal temperature check and we were around 170 degrees. Let's go ahead and spritz these down a little bit. There we go. Just like that. Make sure we get all the edges. Nice. It's smelling awesome, that hickory wood. We're gonna shut this down and I'm gonna check on these in about 30 minutes and see where we are. We're not gonna wrap them, we're just gonna spritz them and baby these until they get to about 208 degrees internal and then we'll pull them off. So we've been rolling along and it's time to check on the internal temperature of these ribs and see where we're at. Man, look at that bark setting up nicely got a lot of juice there let's see where we are right around 170 there see that juice is starting to be clear that means we're getting good we're cooking well around 160 on that one this one's a little hotter this was a smaller one so 183 175 range 
on the thicker part let's see where we are 170 so that's what we're looking like I'm gonna let these go ahead and keep cooking and next time I see y'all we'll let them rest for about an hour and then we're gonna give them a try Man, check this out. Beautiful, completely juicy, awesome bark. I got me the end piece. Um, man, these smell awesome. I put a little bit more of the North Texas Barbecue Attic all-purpose smoke shake on there while they were resting. Look at that, that fat rendered perfectly. Let's go ahead and give it a bite and see what it's looking like. Total cook time was around six hours without wrapping and just spritzing a little bit. Cheers, y'all. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Perfect. Look at that. That fat rendered beautifully. Mm. It's got an awesome bark on it. That old copper Weber kettle really did a job. This is exactly how you want a beef rib to bite when you take a bite. You want it to just dissolve in your mouth, but still stay on the bone. Look at that smoke ring. Completely juicy. Man. I don't even know where to get another bite from. Let's go ahead, let's see where, what the other side's looking like here. Mm. Oh yeah. That's money every day. Wow. Well, I appreciate y'all for stopping by What's New Barbecue. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscription button and the bell so you can keep track of this barbecue journey. I'll have Six Brothers Beef information down below in the description box as well. I have a discount code that's NTBA10 for 10% off. Appreciate y'all for stopping by. Y'all keep on barbecuing. Dang, this is a good rib.